Okay, it's Saturday night once again, and here I am uh, with another uh, video about whiskey. Uh, I've got four Glencairn glasses, clean ones, in front of me, but I'm going to do a five whiskey flight tonight. I was going to do four, but I need to do five. Just pour me some water here. So I can have a nice full glass of water to go with my one dram that I will have during this video. Now I have something rather special here. This here is called Golden Stag Special Aged Rye. It's 40% uh, alcohol by volume, 750 mils. And uh, it is a product of Saskatchewan. Now what's really special about this one here is it's from the Burling Silver Distillery, and it says here that it is a, a single malt rye, so it's malted rye, and that's what's in it. It's, it's not, there's no, uh, it's a single malt, but it's a single malt rye, or either it's malted rye or Open stag single malt rye, painstakingly crafted, delicately aged with American oak to be easy drinking and if so yet sophisticated. Uh, produced in small batches of a true artisanal taste. Enjoy. Uh, if it says single malt rye, I understand that it's. It's either malted rye or it's a Canadian whiskey, and rye is the nickname for Canadian whiskey, uh, and it's it's a malted barley, but it says rye, so special aged rye. I'm going to give this a try, and I'll, I'll let you know if it actually tastes like barley or rye. And this has a little pull tab here, and it's it's ensconced in there really tightly. I might have to get a pair of pliers to open this. Wow. Oh, this is going to be a challenge. Pliers. Do I have a set of pliers? Not on me. Well, I'm going to use this little knife, I guess. Uh, get, get this thing open. Okay. Aha! And that made that did the trick. So now I got the end sticking out here, and maybe I can pull it all the way around. This is a a wax seal, a plastic rubber wax seal, not unlike what you find at the top of a maker's mark bottle. But it's a real, real piece of work to get this. They, Maker's Mark has it perfected, okay? Maker's Mark, what they do is they, they put it on there, and, and there's just the right amount of, of wax or plastic or whatever this stuff is. But this here, um, Sperling Silver Distillery, Whoever bottles these really makes it kind of a bitch to open up. Okay, I think I've got it now. Is it a cork? It is a cork. Ah, and this stuff is sticking to the top. Okay. Let's see what we get now. Let's, uh, let's pour a glass. I know there are people out there who like to see me struggle with opening things. So there you go. Yeah, this, it, it doesn't say, it says product of Saskatchewan. And it is from uh, Regina in Saskatchewan. Their address is 2124 Albert Street. 
believe it or not. And this bottle was sent to me by Sneerson, uh, another kind and generous donation. And I guess he wanted to see what I think of this stuff. It's 40% alcohol by volume. Hmm. I should have done some research on this. The stag represents fearless, standalone wild majesty. The stag in spirits has always represented a level of quality that stands apart from others. Always a true sign of excellence. Golden stag has a bold wilderness, very distinct toasted oak fragrance and taste of caramelized rye with a subtle sweet finish that makes for a fully rounded spirit. So it says caramelized rye. Okay. The story begins in the 20s with Peter Paul Sperling, who owned the Sedley Hotel just east of Regina. Behind the hotel was a slaughterhouse. Underneath the slaughterhouse were rail cars filled with whiskey to then be sent to Chicago. The history of Saskatchewan Sperling's making fine spirits can be traced back to more than 85 years ago. Adam Sperling is a proud part of the tradition in making fine spirits to enjoy for another 100 years. Okay, so this is their website, more or less. Great. So it doesn't clarify anything about rye or malt. It says caramelized rye. Is it malted rye? I don't know. This is obscure. Nosing this, I'm getting some spices and I'm getting something that is unfamiliar to me. I guess it's a caramelized rye. It smells a little bit like rye, but it's, uh, there's something different about it. There's something, if I could say minty, but it's not the same kind of mint that you'd get out of um, out of a. It's not the same mint note that you'd get out of an American rye, if that makes any sense. Um, let's get back to where we are. That would be here. Okay. Hopefully, we didn't drop any frames. Yeah. caramelized. Strange. That's what I'm getting. There's something woody about it too. Woody, um, like sawdust, like, like door, like, like wood planings, you know, when you're planing the edge of a door. Was this made with virgin American oak? Maybe. It doesn't say how old it is, but it has a decent color to it. Maybe it's been colored. It looks kind of red. Could be an E150. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm no expert on that. But it does look red. That's the funny thing, you know, there the, are these small distilleries all over Canada and, and each of them has a limited um, distribution. So you could never find this stuff here in British Columbia unless somebody from Saskatchewan sends it to you. Likewise, there are uh, whiskeys here in um, British Columbia that you'll never see anywhere else in the country. Unless there are some that are distributed a little further out. It's limited production. Yeah, wood. I'm getting wood. That's what this is. 
Wood and rye. Very wood forward. That's strange. I was not expecting that. Within that wood, there's some, uh, I guess, pencil shavings and, and, and door planings. And um, some vanilla. Not much caramel. More vanilla than caramel. Okay. Well, I've nosed this enough. Let's taste it. Wow, that is different. That is very much different. It's bottled at 40%. So that makes it mellow and easy drinking. But even so, I guess this is 100% rye. But it doesn't say 100% rye anywhere on it. And it says single malt, so... It's a bit obscure. If it's a malted rye, or blended... It's obscure. I don't know if they just put single malt on there to say single malt. Is it a malted rye? I'm not sure. Maybe Snearson can clarify that for me. Maybe he knows more about this stuff. Because the website seems to be pretty limited in what it says. In terms of this being a single malt, if it is a single malt and it's just called rye because it's Canadian, it reminds me of Stranahan's. If you know Stranahan's Colorado whiskey. It's similar to that. But they, it said caramelized rye. And it says single malt on the back. <laughs> so I don't know what to make of this. It doesn't taste grainy at all. It's, it's just a lot of wood. And now that I'm going into it a little more, yeah, it's it's a lot like a like like an American single malt called Stranahan's. That's what it reminds me of. And I'm pretty sure this is virgin American oak. It says that it's a artisanal uh, product. I just want to do this justice because I'm, you know, after reading the label, I, I don't know if I've been misled over what I've tasted. I would have liked to have tasted this blind. It's very good though. Very good. Yeah, I'm not sure what's in there. It it 
it's so different. And it's hard for me to tell where the wood ends and the grain begins. It could be a lot like um, it could be a lot like Alberta Premium, except with virgin oak casks or virgin oak barrels, where the Alberta Premium would just use um, used barrels from bourbon and other Canadian whiskey or something. Like an Alberta Premium, but with a lot more wood forward, if that makes any sense. So I don't know if this is rye, malted rye. I, I'm stumped, but it, it's because it reminds me of Stranahan so much. And Stranahan's is a single malt. I will say this though, this stuff is good. It's got a lot of spicy, woody flavors. And it's a little dry at the end. It's a little bit like, yeah, it's just wood forward. I rather like it. Mm. Nostravia. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>